you, Mr. President, and I hate asking for the floor one second time uh, since it gives me the impression that it was not clear enough. But in this case, I need to. This is not to prolong the discussion, of course, everything is clear, but to put the record straight. The Russian delegation made, again, a parallel with the Republic of Kosovo, an independent country that has been recognized by half of the United Nations, including half of this Council. This is wrong, inaccurate, and regrettable. I have already reacted to similar remarks on this last June, therefore it will be very short. Nothing could be more artificial and forced than comparing an international effort to end the conflict, protect civilians, and establish a peace process to find a lasting solution, which was the case of Kosovo, with the pure and unprovoked aggression and the sham referendums engineered in Moscow that are being carried out now in Ukraine. No one is, can, or will be fooled by this. No attempts to compare the incomparable, no easy shortcuts out of any historic and political context will help Russia divert attention from its war of choice in Ukraine or hide its blatant breach of international law, which has made it an international para. Kosovo and Serbia are bound today by a dialogue to solve their problems. They meet, they do not fight. And above all, the issue is not Kosovo or any part of the world, it's Russia's aggression, Russia's crimes, Russia's territory grab to the detriment of its neighbor. We will not be misled. I thank you.